Our objective is to analyze the given graph and determine if the inverse of the function is a function, graph the inverse and label key points, and compare the domain and range of the function to its inverse. 1. Will the inverse of fx be a function? How can you tell? To determine if the inverse of fx is a function, we need to check if there are any horizontal lines that intersect the graph of fx more than once. If there are, then the inverse will not be a function. Looking at the graph provided, we can see that there are no horizontal lines that intersect the graph of fx more than once. Therefore, the inverse of fx will be a function. 2. Graph the inverse of the relation and the diagram above. Clearly label five key points on the original graph and the corresponding points on the inverse. To graph the inverse of fx, we need to switch the x and y values of each point on the original graph. This will give us the corresponding points on the inverse. The five key points on the original graph and their corresponding points on the inverse are original graph 1, 2, 2, 4, 3, 6, 4, 8, 5, 10 inverse, 2, 1, 4, 2, 6, 3, 8, 4, 10, 5. The graph of the inverse will be a straight line passing through these points. 3. Determine the domain and range of fx. How do those values compare to the domain and range of its inverse? The domain of fx is all real numbers. The range of fx is the set of all y minus values that the graph of fx takes on, which in this case is all positive even numbers. The domain of the inverse of fx is the same as the range of fx, which is the set of all positive even numbers. The range of the inverse of fx is the same as the domain of fx, which is all real numbers. Therefore, we can see that the domain and range of fx and its inverse are switched.